Acts chapter 20, verse 24. I love this one. Okay. Uh, it says here, But there is another urgency before me now. I feel compelled to go to Jerusalem. I'm completely in the dark about what will happen when I get there. I do know that it won't be any picnic, for the Holy Spirit has let me know repeatedly and clearly that there are hard times and imprisonment ahead, but that matters little. What matters most to me is to finish what God started, the job the Master Jesus gave me of letting everyone I meet know all about this incredibly extravagant generosity of God. Now, this is the Apostle Paul or Saul speaking, right? That he's going back to Jerusalem and the Holy Spirit already let him know that, hey, it's not going to be easy, bro. Like, there's going to be some rough times ahead. And I love his response. That matters little, right? That matters little. It doesn't matter because the main thing that matters is doing the will of God. All right. Now, Apostle Paul, he was chosen to spread the gospel all across the world to all nations. So he was just, you know, uh, enthusiastic about doing what God willed for him to do. Nothing matters. No place to live, no place to sleep, nothing to eat. You know, uh, uh, you're going to be roughed up. You're going to go to jail. People are going to try to kill you. Like these things don't matter when you have that calling from God. Right. And, you know. As followers of Christ, we all have this calling. It is our honor, it is my honor to spread the gospel of Christ to everyone who knows it and who hasn't known it, or who doesn't know it, I should say. You know, it's, it's good to encourage fellow followers and it's good to, uh, 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 um, to educate those who don't know. Like, it's not a joke thing, man. Sometimes people are going to turn against you, right? Uh, uh, um, I don't remember exactly where in scripture, but I believe Jesus said he comes to uh, separate mother from daughter and father from son. Based, something like that. Something along those lines. Basically meaning that, you know, uh, uh, some people, no matter who it is, when you find Jesus and you try to, uh, uh, to you know, enlighten or to help others... They're going to be like, no, you're crazy, man. But I ain't got time for that. That's some BS or whatever. And it's going to cause rifts between family members, friends, loved ones. You know, that's that's what it's all about, right? Because not all are called, right? It says many are called, but few are chosen, right? And my thing that I always go to is this. If you see somebody running into a burning building, are you just going to walk away and let them run into that building and die? Or are you going to try to stop them from running into that building or try to save them? You know, um, the scripture says, uh, I it's not on my brain right now. But basically, if you can help somebody and you don't try, at least try to help them. And if they fall to peril, their blood is on your hands. Because you could have helped them and you didn't. So their blood is on your hands. It's pretty much the same thing as you throwing them into that fire. I mean, as a good person, as somebody who wants to be good, I'm just speaking to anyone in general. If you see somebody running into a burning building, are you not going to try to stop them? I'll leave that question to you guys. As always, Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. Seek him first. Peace be with you.